Good morning, Eagle Nation. It is Thursday, the 20th of October. It's the 51st day of school. Please join me for a moment of silence. Thank you. And now, your morning announcements. It's kickball day. Hope you're ready, fifth and sixth grade, and hope you're ready, Mr. Avilés, because we're bringing the heat. I don't know who we are, but whoever's on my team, we're bringing it. Today is Thursday. We got a lot of stuff going on. We're glad that you're here, but before we do anything else, please stop, please stand, let us rise together for this morning's Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Let's keep to good habits, and I encourage you, I invite you, I implore you to join us for 10 good ones today to start this day off right. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's it. You got to bring it. On this 20th day of October, this 51st day of school, we're gonna be playing kickball today, as you already know, later today. We're also working on the skill, though, of taking no for an answer. If you haven't reviewed that skill yet with your students, teachers, please be sure to do so. It's a valuable life skill, and we hope and, and, and that you all learned it. Uh, additionally, after school today, we know that there's a football game, so, uh, we're continuing with our plans to host our after-school dance for 7th and 8th graders from 4 until 5 p.m. Uh, that means a couple of things. One, it means that next time we're going to plan better to make sure that we don't unintentionally exclude people because they have competing interests like uh, the, the football game today. So boys, and, uh, we're with you in spirit. Go out there and win today. For those of you that can make it, we look forward to seeing you. And if you're coming to the dance in 7th and 8th grade today, when the school lets out at 3.30, You've got five minutes to get yourself to the cafeteria. That's at 3.35, start coming into the cafeteria and line up there. Uh, because if you're not there within five minutes after that, uh, between 3.35 and 3.40, uh, we'll be sending you back to the office. You'll get called and picked up because supervision and safety is paramount. And that means you need to report to your appropriate location where there is, in fact, adult supervision. So once you leave class, 7th and 8th graders, head to your destination, walkers, riders, cars, buses, or to the dance. In which case, you'll head to the cafeteria near the, uh, the water station. Line up there. Come on in, and we'll have some fun. We will see you there. Remember, $2 entry. Uh, if, you didn't, if you forgot your $2 or something like that, then talk to me. We'll, we'll work something out to make sure that you can still participate, uh, however necessary. But... We'll see you then. Then, coming up tomorrow, remember, tomorrow is the Halloween parade. Check Dojo. Direct your parents to Dojo. Make sure that they've seen Dojo because pre-K through 6th graders are invited to dress up in costumes. And during the course of the parade, which will start at 9.15 a.m., we'll do three laps around the main courtyard there. And some folks from our district office are going to come over and be distributing uh, candy. So also, students, if you're going to participate, bring your, uh, bring your bag so you have a place to actually hold all that candy. And, and all those rocks, like Charlie Brown, if you know what I'm talking about. Poor Charlie. Any case, we'll see you then. Come have some fun with us. And then uh, stick around on Saturday. Come on back. There's a health fair going on from 9 until 2. Again, tell your parents, check Dojo. All this is on Dojo. Uh, 
and then at 4.30 till 6, we'll be out here in the parking lot doing trunk or treat. So if you want to come, dress up, bring some candy to hand out. Uh, if you don't want to do that, but you want to, you want to be the one to hand out candy instead of collecting candy, that's okay too. We'd love to have your help. And if you're a student and you'd like to volunteer to help out after that, let me know that because uh, we're going to have movie on the lawn immediately after, and we haven't blown up that movie screen in four years. So uh, it's going to be a trial run. We got to get the movie screen up, the projector going, the sound equipment has to work. And I also bought a popcorn machine um, that uh, we're going to try out for the first time. So. Come on out, lots of stuff going on to celebrate this time of year, to celebrate, we are a community school, let's celebrate community. And, and that should do it. So, uh, let's make the best of today, and let's get to your words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning. I love today. Today, our focus is on respect. Respect. Listen to these words from Disney's elegant book of manners. Manners are man's and women's best creation for showing each other consideration. What does that mean, showing each other consideration? When we are considerate of each other, we are careful, remember it's one of our values, not to hurt each other's feelings. In fact, that's why manners were invented. That's why we say things like please and thank you. That's why we are careful not to talk when others are talking. That's why we say hello when someone says hello to us. We do these things to show respect and not hurt others' feelings. So today, let's use our best manners and be considerate of each other. It's one small way that you can make the world a better place. With something to think about, this is Mr. Lovato. Make it a great day. Hey, Arnold. Thanks, Rocky. Day or not. Hats and hoods off indoors. Stay in your zones. Put away your phones. And let's make it a great day or not. Choice is, of course, yours.